Yo, what's good? Welcome to another show. I'm Sid and we are back at it again with another reaction. But before we get into that, I just want to quickly thank everyone for helping me reach 2000 subscribers here on this channel. It is absolutely insane. I never expected to get this far uh, and grow this quickly. It took me an entire year to reach 1000 and it's been about six months since then. So things are picking up pace. There's a lot more new viewers here. I actually gained 300 subscribers just within the last 28 days. So welcome to all of the new people. Thank you for watching and clicking the subscribe bell. It does mean a lot. Uh, and yeah, that's uh, really all there is to it. I guess the next goal is three, four, five thousand, but I'm hoping for 10 by the end of the year. If I can put out enough content that you guys enjoy and attract enough of a new audience, then I feel like it might be possible. A little bit of a challenge, but certainly attainable. Oh, and one more thing. I also just this morning checked uh, my Patreon, which I set up a year ago and haven't really thought about since. And I have my first Patreon supporter over there. So I just want to give a quick shout out to Traz Traz. Uh, that's the username on the account. Thank you so much for signing up. I really do appreciate it. Most of the videos that I post get demonetized or claimed because they're reactions. I do enjoy making them. It's probably one of my favorite types of content sitting here watching music videos and responding to all your comments and having these conversations back and forth about the things that we enjoy. Uh, so that's super fun. But having someone actively choose to subscribe and contribute a certain amount for one month or multiple months at their discretion, uh, it, it's kind of crazy. Like I honestly never expected that. Just having one Patreon supporter has kind of woken me up to this idea of this, this is like a legit thing. Like I might not be able to make so much off the ads that I can sustain this, but there is a possibility that the thing I've done for a hobby over the past two years could become a more consistent, financially stable job almost. I don't even know if that's the right word to use because uh, I'm having so much fun doing it. But yeah, I figured this would be a good opportunity for me to promote the Patreon. If anyone does want to sign up, I've received over 25,000 unique viewers on this channel in the last 28 days. I'll put the number up on the screen here so you can see it. Um, but yeah, I was just thinking about it. And if even 2% of those 25,000 people signed up to the lowest tier on my Patreon, then I would be making almost as much as I do right now from my full-time job where I work night shifts in a supermarket. And I know it's not entirely like possible to have that happen overnight. I don't expect every single person who's watching this to go there and sign up. If you can't, I fully understand. But it's definitely inspired me to maybe start talking about it a little bit more, uh, especially as new people are finding the channel. If you enjoy the content I make, you can support me with a subscribe, a like, a share, leaving a comment, all that good stuff. But you can also click the link in the description, check out the Patreon. And if you feel comfortable with it, then you can drop a couple pounds. I think it's two pounds converted into your local currency. So it's quite a small amount. But as I say, if even 2% of the people who have viewed my channel just in the last month alone were to sign up at the lowest tier, then I would be making pretty much the same as what I get at my job, which is mind boggling to think about. But I just thought I'd put it out there. I might mention it in a few future videos, so hopefully it doesn't bother anyone. But with all that being said, we're gonna jump straight into it. This is a, a Manaskin video, Monoskin. I've heard there's different ways of pronouncing it. I have an English accent, so apologies. But we're gonna be watching another Monoskin video. This time it's the grand final of the Eurovision Song Contest. The last video I watched of theirs was actually in English and I mistook them for an English band because the guy's singing voice had such a, uh, a strong like English accent. Uh, but later on I found out they're Italian. They represented Italy at the grand finals of Eurovision. They were also contestants in the X Factor. I don't know if they won it or came second or whatever. But yeah, so uh, yeah, we're gonna be watching Z I'm gonna I'm gonna butcher this. Zitti e buoni. See, I, I I don't like saying words in other languages because I know for a fact that I got that wrong. But yeah, we're gonna be watching the grand final performance from Monoskin uh, at the Eurovision Song Contest 2021. If you enjoy the video, you know all the things that you can do. I mentioned it already. Uh, so yeah, we're just gonna jump straight into it. Let's go. See, I don't really keep up with the Eurovision. I only know that one band, I think they were the Finnish band who dressed like monsters, but that was like 10 years ago. I missed a lot. Oh, okay. He's giving me strong, he's giving me strong Freddie Mercury vibes. I don't want to miss his lyrics. I always talk over the first lyrics. I never time it right. We'll run it back. But yeah, this whole thing, like the rocks, the rock sound, very unique, but he's for sure giving me Freddie Mercury like 
Killer Queen vibes right now. <laughs> Let's get it. Production's great too. I guess obviously biggest singing competition in the world. Oh, that's... Wait, I need to check if there are English subtitles. No. Okay, so I, I, this is a song where I'm not going to understand what's happening. Uh, sorry to keep winding it back. But uh, if anyone does want to translate in the comments, you can drop the English lyrics. That would be great. I'll check those out. Uh, I guess we're just going to be going based on sound and visuals. Uh, but obviously, I've been told that a lot of their lyrics are very deep and meaningful and poetic. So hopefully in future, I'll be able to find a video with some uh, English captions. But yeah, we'll try this one more time. Let's go. I love that intro riff. Hey. They look different to how I remember them in the previous video. I feel like it's just the way that that video was shot. It was a lot of fast cuts, close ups, black and white, high contrast, things like that. I never really got a chance to like look at their faces individually. It was more about the elements of the scene and the things that were happening. But yeah, they, they look like a, a rock band. They look very much like a rock band. I love the dude's outfit. He's wearing like what? Like, I don't know if you call them leather, but like some kind of overalls, rock star overalls with a bunch of bejeweled stuff on them. Are those the silhouettes of the band members? That's sick. The production on the Eurovision Song Contest must be crazy, right? Because it's, as I think it's the biggest song contest in the world. Like, every country in Europe is in it. Uh, and I used to watch it a little bit when I was a kid. That's how I know that one band, the Finnish band, they dress up like monsters, they do like metal, but I don't even remember their names, to be honest. It's not something that I followed too closely. I'm aware of when it's on, other people talk about it, but I don't even know who performs when. Uh, it's not my thing. But this song, I, I like it. I wish there were English subtitles. Uh, but yeah, that, that's a shame. Hopefully someone in the comments will leave the lyrics or a link to a song in Italian with English subtitles because like I said, somebody told me, or a few people have told me actually, that their lyrics are very poetic and worth paying attention to. So I was hoping that I'd be able to follow along, but yeah, production-wise, this is on point. I'm loving the energy of the song, the guitar, the drums, like the beat of it is very rhythmic uh, and his vocals are on point. Like his vocals are sick. All right, I'll run it back five seconds and then we'll get it. <laughs> Very charismatic singer. Ooh. Hey! What? I always assumed that the Eurovision Song Contest was a little bit gimmicky, you know what I mean? I thought it was like cheesy pop acts. Like, I remember one time the Irish representative was Jedwood, and they're like two twins who are famous here in the UK. They're a bit silly, they do, or well, they used to be a little bit silly, I think they're more serious now, but they used to make like silly, cheesy pop music. They represented Ireland. And at one point, I think the band Steps represented the UK and they're like a pop group from the early 2000s. And so I know like things like that. And my association of this, this co contest is that it's kind of cheesy, but these guys are coming in and they're just doing like straight rock, rock and roll all night long. You know what I mean? The stage lights, the performance, the presence, like, like this is sick. I love the way it built up to that drum fill. And then you kind of got the whole thing's filling out. I'm guessing this is the chorus now. I can't really tell where it's breaking apart lyric-wise, but yo, this is not what I expected at all. Like, I knew they were a good band from the last song I watched, but I didn't expect this to be so polished because, yeah, I just had this one perception in my head and I guess that's my mistake. Maybe I should start watching this. Uh, <laughs> it's once a year, right? <laughs> or is it every other year? I don't even know. Yeah, let's, let's get it. We'll run it back a little bit. It's like a full-on rock song. Hey. 
break it down. He did a little taze on day there. Anyone remember that? Where he moves away from the mic to breathe? Chocolate rain? No, just me? <laughs> Classic meme. Is he rapping here? Because it kind of feels like that kind of energy. Like he's breaking it down. He's getting quite fast there with the lyrics and it's coming out almost like a rap flow. And you've got the rock elements, you've got the charismatic visuals, the huge stage presence, the designs, the lights. This is pretty mad. I really want to listen to this like the full studio version. I want to check this out. Ziti a Buoni. Someone translate for me, please. I want the lyrics. I need to know. We'll run this back. I want to check this out. I actually kind of want to see the whole thing from... Let's get it. Hey. Flow. Break it down. Ah. <laughs> Look at him. And then he gets straight back into like aggressive hard rock. He's got good range on his voice too. Like he can go very low and do that kind of breakdown flow, staccato flow type of thing. But then he can do that, ah, like the, the rock and roll screaming, the angry screaming. This is sick. I also like how he controls the camera. Like at the start, he was walking across the stage and the camera was following him. And he was like keeping eye contact with it. You know, he was leading it where he wanted it to be. And it's the same thing here. Like he hasn't really moved for the last few seconds. He stayed in one place, but he keeps looking at the camera and making it come to him. Like, it's the sign of a rock star, for sure. That's a, that's a, that's a killer front man right there. <laughs> I really like this a lot. This is pretty sick. Let's get it. Wow! That's sick. You see what I mean? He does sound a little English when he sings in English or talks. Hey, break it down. Get it. Go, girl. The outfits are sick. <laughs> oh, it's just energy. Like, and you can tell already that he's the front man and he's taking control. He's very charismatic, charming, got the vocals, but he's also got the two guitar players with him and they're both getting their opportunity to shine. Like he's not taking the stage for himself. This is a huge opportunity, I'm sure, for everyone involved, but it feels like a very collaborative effort. Like even behind the scenes, I imagine that they're pretty good friends, I would guess, just from the last two videos that I watched, this one and uh, the music video for the song whose name I can't remember. Ah. Oh, it's uh, I Want to Be Your Slave. I think that was it. Uh, but yeah, you can tell that they're like a very solid collection of musicians. They, they bounce off each other well. They work together. Everything about it, the, even the lights, the way it all came together, it just felt very harmonious. You know what I mean? Hopefully everything's in sync still. I knocked the camera and my app closed for some reason. It stopped filming. But yeah, we'll, uh, we'll carry on. Let's, let's run it back a couple of seconds. Let's get it. Look, it's his time now. Drummers, drummers on fire. Wow. This is so rock. This is sick. I'll give that a round of applause for sure. Damn. And I wonder how long this was after they won or came second or whatever on the X Factor. I think this was the 2021 performance. So this must have been very recent. Yeah, May 2021. And it was posted by 
the official Eurovision. Yeah, so this must have been a very, like within the last month or so. Wow, this is kind of crazy. I really want to see what they were like early on. Like, I don't know if their audition for all the X Factor would be online, but I kind of want to check that out as well. The Eurovision Song Contest in general is way higher production value than I ever expected. I did not expect it to be like a fireworks show on the stage at Glastonbury. Like, because they're, they're, they're just like the, the heaviest, hardest, baddest looking rock band. And I hope that other groups in the Eurovision are on equal footing with them. Because if they came on and just showed everyone else up because they're doing their cheesy performances, yo, I mean, it's a good opportunity for Maniskin, but it would really put everyone else to shame. But yeah, I'm so glad that I found this group. They're really cool. Uh, thank you for leaving all your recommendations in the comments. I've made a big long list of them and I will try and get around to them as soon as I can. And yeah, hopefully you enjoyed my reaction here. If you did, leave a like down below, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell, notifications, all that good stuff. Like I said at the start, I have a Patreon. And if you would like to support me uh, when this video and all my other videos get demonetized, then that would be above and beyond. I would appreciate you far more than you could ever know. And with all that being said, I'm gonna bring this video to a close. So thank you for watching. I hope you're all having a fantastic day and I will see you in the next one. Peace.